ladies and gentlemen, Brett Hankinson is found not guilty. He is not guilty of shooting up the apartment above Breonna Taylor. And thanks to Daniel Cameron, he will never have to worry about going on trial for the death of Breonna Taylor. No police officer for that matter. So he was found guilty of the wanton endangerment charges, uh, which occurred during the raid on Breonna Taylor's apartment. So Hankinson, the only officer to be charged in connection with the deadly 2020 shooting of Breonna Taylor, found not guilty of three counts of wanton endangerment for firing blindly into the black woman's apartment during a no-knock raid. Hankinson, 45, after just three hours of deliberation, he was found not guilty. Mm -mm -mm. That was all it took, just (laughs) three hours of deliberation. Mm -hmm. Mr. Hankinson, who was fired from the Louisville Metro Police Department, is the only officer tried to, um, you know, he was only one on trial for the March 13, 2020 raid to receive any criminal charges. They were not related to Taylor's death, but rather to the 10 shots he fired, which passed through her apartment into a neighboring unit. The Kentucky Attorney General ruled that other officers' conduct were justified. How? How was it justified? (laughs) Okay, since they were fired upon first, which is a lie. Officers say they knocked on the door and announced themselves. Now, remember, the people that lived in that same complex said they never heard those cops announce themselves. So I guess they're just going to stick with the lie. So Taylor's boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, says he um, was asking who was at the door and got no response. And I believe that. He shot his legally owned pistol at officers once they broke down the door. And they returned fire, striking Taylor six times and killing her. None of the rounds fired by Mr. Hankinson struck Taylor, a 26-year-old black woman and emergency room technician. Instead, the bullets passed through her home into a neighboring residence occupied by a couple and their five-year-old child. So um, did Brett Hankinson shoot Breonna Taylor? According to prosecutors, they said no, he did not. Rather, they passed through the glass door and into the next apartment over where they, you know, it it hit their walls. Their walls got riddled with uh, bullets. And this neighbor was pregnant at the time, Chelsea Knapper, and they had a five-year-old son that was in the apartment. This case is about Cody and his partner, Chelsea Knapper, who was uh, seven months pregnant at the time, and their five-year-old son, who was sleeping in the bedroom closest to the front door when the bullets ripped through the apartment and out of their sliding glass door into the night. Kentucky Assistant Attorney General Barbara Whaley. This is what she said in her opening statement. So he was justified, Mr. Hankinson's defense lawyer, Stu Matthews, said during the opening statements, adding that the former officer was trying to defend and save lives of his brother officers who were still caught in what they call a fatal funnel in the doorway. Well, you wouldn't have that if you didn't have that no-knock warrant. And personally, I think the only reason why y'all came up 
with the no knock warrant. It was just another way of getting away with killing black people. That was really all that warrant is for. It's not for any other reason. You're not trying to keep no community safe. You're not trying to do anything other than have a free license to kill a black man or woman and you use that no knock warrant as your excuse. All right, the then police chief wrote that Mr. Hankinson's uh, actions were a shock to the conscious and created a substantial danger of death and serious injury to Brianna Taylor and three occupants of the apartment next to Miss Taylor. You have never been trained by the Louisville Metro Police Department to use deadly force in this fashion. This is what the former police chief said. He has appealed the firing a process, which will be on hold while his trial continues. So he'll get rehired, y'all. Make no mistake about it. They probably already offered him his job back. Yes, uh, through Brett Hankinson, has received multiple condemnations. Um on his police work and once served the Louisville Police Merit Board. After being chosen by his fellow officer, he has a lengthy record of alleged misconduct. Yes, they said he was a nasty ass cop. And I did read that in a couple of different articles. Yeah, you know, a lot of times these guys got inflated egos and they think that badge and gun is always going to be their saving grace. And nine times out of 10, because they got the criminal justice system all rigged up in America, they will get away with killing and even shooting up somebody's home or (laughs) ransacking somebody's house. They'll get away with it all. Okay, so Mr. Hankinson has not appeared to publicly comment on his allegations and his attorney, his attorney did not respond to a request from the independent. So he's free. He is found not guilty on all of the charges of wanton endangerment. What a joke. And he's never going to be charged in the death of Breonna Taylor. So there's nothing stopping him from going back to being an asshole cop on the Louisville Metro Police Force. But y'all, tell me what you think about this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.